In an industry stuffed with marketing bullshit, empty promises, and shiny suited liars, one woman's had enough. She knows what it's like to have the wrong clients, no money, and no time for fun. But she also knows how to fix it. And on the Business for Superheroes show, she promises to tell the down and dirty truth about business, sales, and running away with the circus. Here's your host, Vicki Fraser. Hello and welcome to the Business for Superheroes show, but not for much longer. Uh, Stay there and we will explain what's going on. I'm Vicky Fraser and this is my husband, Joe. Hello. Hello. Today we're actually not drinking anything because we've, Joe's just coming from fight night and I've just come in from trapeze training and then we had to go and lock the chickens away and um, have a wander around and we we just forgot basically. So now here we are. Yeah, now here we are. So today... We're going to be talking about why we are killing the podcast. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Um, keep listening, dear listener, and we'll reveal all. Um, if you're watching the video version of this, I don't know what's going on with my hair, but it's deeply disturbing. I don't like it. I don't like <clears> it, Joe. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you go out training and then do a podcast straight and afterwards. And then just sit down for a podcast. Yeah. So, um... Dingle update first, because we always do that. Uh, we have built a chicken palace and a massively over-engineered door latch for it with a giant knob that I found in a junk shop. I say we. Joe massively over-engineered a door latch. Well, this knob has been knocking around the house for quite a while, and we needed a latch for the chicken house. I thought it was a beautiful, you know, serendipitous moment. And it is, and it's ridiculously over-engineered, and... I just, it's magnificent, and it's also made of oak, by the way. This is the fanciest the fanciest chicken palace in the world. So that's really cool. Um, I made jam successfully and then unsuccessfully. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've ordered more pectin, so hopefully my jam, I'll be able to rescue my so, jam. So far we've made elderflower jam, which elderberry is am- jam. elderberry jam, which is amazing. Yes. We've made blackberry jam, which is amazing. Oh my god, I, tr- I opened a new jar of blackberry jam today, because I finished one, and it's proper, like, solid like jelly. Mm. And then we made uh, damson soup. I made damson soup. You made damson soup. I think I overboiled it. I've got lots of advice from people who know much more about jam than me. And your sister was very shocked by the fact that I wasn't using a thermometer. And I was like, I did successful jam without a thermometer last week. I mean, boiling's boiling, right? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, so if anyone's listening and they know about jam and, you know, if I really need a jam thermometer, let me know and I will consider buying one. But you know what? People have been making jam for long Long, much longer than there have been thermometers. You would think. I know. And so, you know, anyway. This is not the... We're not turning it into the jam podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Although, we could. <laughs> um, hands up if anyone wants a jam podcast. Is um, there a jam podcast out there? Um, there must be. There's a we'll podcast listen. on everything. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're not actually killing the podcast dead. Uh, we're not. But we are giving it an identity reassignment. Uh, should we explain? I think you should. I think we should. So, um, in the next the next two or three podcast episodes, we will be reminding you of this at the beginning and end of the episode, because at some point it's going to turn from the Business for Superheroes show into uh, the 1000 Authors show, I think. From really? Yeah. should really settle on that name. Yeah. It's going to be called something cool. Um, <laughs> so, and you're going to need to know what that is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let, let 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 us explain. For the past two years, um, I have been losing my way a little bit. I think with my business, and I I got to the point where it was it was getting me down a bit, wasn't it? Um, not because I didn't like my clients or my superheroes, because I love all of those people, but because I didn't really know, I didn't really know where I was going or why I was going there. Mm-hmm. And I didn't want to be, I didn't really want to be a copywriter anymore because I didn't love it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I love the persuasion aspect of it and I love the psychology and, you know, and that's all super important for running a business, regardless of what you do, you know, what your sure. business is. Um, I loved all that stuff. I didn't love the actual being a copywriter for hire part enough to become really great at it. And, I, you know, it wasn't working on bitty projects. I found that very frustrating. Mm-hmm. And so I just felt like I was losing my way. I also failed to write a bunch of books that I had ideas for. Um, I actually went all the way to Turkey for one and spent a week and did the grand total of 2,100 and something words, which is basically a long blog post. Yes. 
it's, a, it's about 20 minutes work for you normally, isn't it? That yeah. sort of number. Um, and then I came back from Turkey and then I wrote actually a lot of another book, which I am going to finish. Uh, mm-hmm. I think I wrote like 58,000 words, which is, you know, it's a, That's of, a book. It's a lot of work. Um, and half wrote another book and blah, blah, blah. And then we went on holiday to France last year, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And after two days, I was I was in tears and wanted to come home. Do you remember? Because do you remember I was sitting there, I was like, I've got too much to do and I don't like any of it, and I just want to go home. And this is really I and I didn't know how to relax. And you were like, sit down, have a beer, chill the fuck out. <laughs> and um, while I was on that holiday, we were talking about all sorts of things, weren't we? And finally came to the conclusion that what I loved to do was write books and help business owners write books. Mm-hmm. And so that is what I am doing. I found my way in a field in France. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, you may have noticed a few gaps in the podcast, by the way, as well, because we have had a few weeks where we, we just haven't put a new podcast out. So I've been like, oh, listen to these reissued ones. And, mm-hmm. you know, and it's not because I'm lazy. Because um, you're not lazy. Well, I am lazy. Everyone's lazy. But that's not why. That's not why it's that's not why there have been gaps. It's There have been gaps because it's really a struggle to create anything if you're not feeling it, if you're not. Mm-hmm. 100% sure why you're doing it and where you're going and for me I felt like Business for Superheroes we had done like 100 this is episode 186 that's insane there's a lot of episodes and I just felt like we were churning over old stuff mm-hmm. and I wasn't sure why because okay. there are plenty of other marketing podcasts out there and, and some you know, of them are alright <laughs> some of them are pretty good well none of them are as good as I ask clearly yeah, obviously <laughs> Five stars. Uh, I issue an apology to every other podcast <laughs> owner out there for, for that um, horrific slur. Um, so, yeah, my problem was motivation and going in the wrong direction, I think. Mm-hmm. And it was, I think, I don't know if that was your problem as well. You just kind of do what you're told. I just do what I'm told. You, you say, come here, sit down. We're doing a podcast. And I come here and I sit down and then we do a podcast. Yeah. If you don't say, we're doing a podcast, then we don't do a podcast. No, that's true. I'm can't. the sidekick in this, in this gig. No, you're the reason everyone listens to it. Um, it's Look, it's really difficult if you're trying to do stuff and you feel like you're going in the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. So what I would like you to take away from part one of this podcast, because this is part one, um, is like part one of this episode. Yeah. Um, what I would like you to take away from this is have a think about what you're doing and think about your medium, short, medium and long term goals. Mm-hmm. It's really important to revisit them every now and then because they might have changed. You know, mine did. Mine changed a couple of years ago. They changed and now I'm going in the right direction, which is helping business owners write and publish really high quality books, not just the kind of book you can bang out in a weekend. There are people out there who will help you do that and, you know, more power to their elbows or whatever the phrase is. Um, but I, <laughs> I want you to write an amazing book that's worthy of you and your business and your clients. Um, and that's, that's the direction that I'm going in. I'm really give, I give a lot of shits about that and so I'm now really motivated because I feel like I need to change the podcast to go in the same direction as sure as my goals you know Does that I think people might have noticed a little bit of that sort of book based direction yeah over the last few weeks and that doesn't mean that if you have no intention of writing a book I mean I will wear you down um but if you have no intention of writing a book right now that doesn't mean that you won't get value out of these podcasts because I'm still going to be talking about marketing and running a business psychology and, and why people buy and all that kind of stuff because it's all bloody relevant mm-hmm. you know whether you're writing a book or not which you should be um so <laughs> um by the way there's a book that can help you with that that you can pre-order at www.moxiebooks.co.uk forward slash pre-order the book hashtag RuPaul's Drag Race (laughs) Um, so yeah you need to have a purpose I think that's really important you need to have a purpose to write a book to run a business to feel motivated to do stuff and that's what I've really been struggling with so that's the first part of the explanation as to why we're rebranding the podcast cool Um, I I feel like we should put a little bit of a jingle in to break up the parts hmm you sing and I'll I'll do the graphics. Do 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 do. Part two. <laughs> part two. That was amazingly professional. Um, so part two, we're rebranding the business of superhero show. <laughs> into we really have not been drinking. Um, we're rebranding it, and uh, part of the reason we're doing that is because it needs to fit in with my new book and my new website, which is moxiebooks.co.uk, and my new book, which is called How the Hell Do You Write a Book? And it's available to pre-order now. 
<laughs> from my website. Um, I'm really excited about it. But the thing is, I am really, 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 really excited about it. And um, it actually, oh yeah, it actually exists. It does exist. That's, actually, a book. That's the proof copy. Um, yeah. You can see I'm. There are post-its in it because I am correcting things at all this bit. Proofing. Um, but yeah, it's, I'm really ridiculous. I'm super proud of this book. I'm ridiculously excited about it. I can't wait for... I can't wait for as many people as possible to read it. Um, it's a good book. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah, I've been interviewing a couple of my 1,000 authors today and they were talking... They were just lovely. They made me cry. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, the, the old website, the Business for Superheroes, doesn't fit with my new brand, my new look and feel and the direction that I want my business to go in. Okay. It's not completely off brand, but it's not, you know, it's it's not part of it it doesn't say it doesn't do what it says on the tin anymore. So that, sure. was that a sentence? Mm, mostly. Okay, cool. Um so current listeners, you current listeners, I I love you so much and I I want to keep all five of you because <laughs> Because, oh my God. <laughs> because the new direction is it does it won't exclude you. You know, it's, it'll just fit more closely with what I want to achieve and how I want to help people. And like I said, even if you have no intention of writing a book of your own for your business right now, I will wear you down. Um, you will one day... Write that book. Write that book, um, because it is a good thing for you to do. It's good for positioning, all the, all the good stuff that we will talk more about in coming episodes. Um, but, you know, if you're if you're listening now and you're thinking, oh, I don't I don't know if, if the show's still going to be relevant to me, then it's still going to have Joe. Same show. It's going to be the same show. It's just going to have a different name, and it'll it will be more book and publishing focused, um, but it will be relevant to you. So please stay. Hmm. We would we would really like you to stay because you know we we really like you. Um, and the current show also, even though I love you guys who listen now, it's not going to bring in exactly the kinds of new listeners that I want to attract. The people who are going to be immediate ideal customers mm-hmm. for me. Um, you know, I'm going to wear you a lot down. That's fine. Um, but new people who come in, I want them to be people who are actively either trying to write a book, want to write a book, thinking, about writing, thinking a book. about writing a book, have written a book and want to write their next one and want to do better. Mm-hmm. Um, all of those types of people. And I want business owners yeah, who are specifically interested in writing and self-publishing and using their own book to grow their businesses. So that's that's reason number two why we're rebranding. Okay. Um, so yeah, keep keep listening. Um, part, part three. Mm-hmm. Go. Part three. Part three. Part three. I feel like this is going to get one star for a lot of people. <laughs> Five stars. Please don't give us one star. Um, so, Joe, why should why should people keep listening? Why you should keep listening? Um, it's all still about marketing. It's about writing. It's about small business. It's about psychology. It's about why people buy. It's about how to persuade people. It's about all of the good stuff that we've been talking about all along yeah it is it's still gonna be relevant it's still gonna be totally hilarious there will still be stories from the tiny sheep stories from the dingle there will still be purring from whiskey who by the way is sitting on my knee right now should we show the listener whiskey would you like to be on the podcast say hello whiskey says no this is good radio good radio um yeah whiskey says no she's like no 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 paparazzi no pap um so yeah so yeah, do you do you know anyone who who is thinking of writing a book or has written a book or is writing a book right now and needs help, you know, with writing the book, with marketing the book, with using it to grow their business? There were too many books in that sentence. It can never be too many books, Joe. Many books. Too many books. Um yeah, do you know anyone who needs help with expert positioning and, and growing their business ethically to the mm. size they want? You know, tell people about this podcast. This is this is what I want. I don't need, there's lots of podcasts about writing a book. I don't know if there are any specifically about writing a business book. I should probably do a little bit of competitor research. Probably should. I mean, I have been doing competitor research. I haven't found any yet that are specifically geared towards writing a business book. I listen to quite a lot. But if, if the listeners find any out there, then let us know what they are and then give them a one-star review. No, don't actually. Do not do that. Oh, my God, Joe. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I No, I'm really I'm actually outraged by that. If you're listening to the audio version and not the video, imagine that I'm making a giant O with my face. I'm actually shocked and disgusted. Give them five stars. Yeah, well, if they're good, give them five stars. Oh, yeah. Review them honestly. Jeepers. Yeah. <laughs> but give us five stars. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, the um, the new podcast is going to look... I think it's not going to look that much different from the old one, I guess. It's got a new um, icon, which Julia Brown from Brownell Design... Hi, Hi Julia, Julia. ...has made beautifully. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, I haven't told her yet. Uh it's, there's going to be a new podcast page on the website with loads of downloadable resources and fun stuff. Uh, there's going to be new music. There's going to be full video episodes available. 
like this one. All of them. Um, all of them. Well, not from the past ones, but for new ones, yeah. Okay. Um, and there's going to be one guest interview per month. Um, you know, at least one every two months. I, mean, I would like to get one guest interview per month. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm making promises now. Um, it'll be really ace, and I'm deeply excited because it's it's going to be a little bit more structured. Um, probably no less chaotic, but a little bit more structured. No less chaotic. Um, we should probably look at getting some actual music that we can go bingle bingle in between mm. sections. Yes. Rather than just meander from section to section and yeah. Um so yeah, what's 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 the takeaway? The takeaway I think is that we're changing, but not so much that you're haters. And oh, you can ask us anything. That's the other thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up um I'm totally stealing this from Seth Godin because he's Hi Seth. A, oh, if only. Um <laughs> because he's amazing. Um and he has this he has a website um website, a podcast called Akimbo, which is great, and you should go and listen to it. And if you want to ask him a question, you can go onto the Akimbo website and record your question, like voice record it. Mm. I am gonna be offering the same service because I really like the idea of being of people actually asking me questions and then me being okay. able to play them and answer them so it's like a conversation. Cool. So that'll be one thing you can do. We really, really want you to keep asking, you know, ask us questions about books and marketing and you know growing your business and writing and all that good stuff and we'll we'll keep answering them and there'll be a form if you don't want to speak there'll be a form that you can just write into as well and uh and yeah and i think that the main takeaway that i want people to think about is sit down this week this is uh, this is your homework sit down this week and look at your goals look at your long-term goals you know where do you think you might like to be in 10 years time you might not even know because it's a long way away i don't know um but i do have a vague idea of the direction i want to go in and what i want to achieve um, what are your five-year goals, your three-year goals, your one-year goal? Where would you like to be in a year's time? Revisit them because they might have changed. It's really, really important that if they've changed, you don't want to be working towards a goal that isn't relevant to you anymore. Are, are, are the actions that you're taking bringing you to your current goal? And if they're not, you need to question why you're doing them and maybe stop doing them and do something mm -hmm. else instead. Um, you know, everything that you do should, I, I think, should either be really loads of fun or it should move you towards your goal, and preferably both. I suppose that, in, in my mind and in, in my practical sense, there, there could be a third reason for doing it, and that is that's where loads of money comes from. Yeah, that's, but... That kind of, kind of pays the bills, but it's not really your mission, it's not really what you want to be doing. I have let, I've let go of quite a hefty amount of money in the last year, because, mm. yes, I could have carried on doing it, and I could have carried on making the same money that I was, but it was sucking the life out of me. You know, it was quite literally sucking the life out of me. You remember what it was like mm. in, you know, before I went to France. And it's just not worth it. It really isn't. And I know that what, I, what I'm what i doing now will ultimately make me far more money because it's aligned with where I want to be, what I want to do, and how I feel like I can help people. And that, for me, it's like, yes, you've got to pay the bills. But as long as you're paying the bills, you've got to give yourself space to, to do what makes you feel alive, mm. you know? Sure. So I, I, think, I think that's... I think that's that. Okay, so next week we're going to be talking. What we're we going to be talking about next week? Purple. We we were last week we said we were going to talk about purple and we haven't. Ah, yeah. Next week we're going to talk about purple. Um, but we're also going to talk about why writer's block isn't a real thing. Controversial. Dun, dun, dun. So yes, we will we will be back next week, uh, shaking things up and making people angry. Still on this podcast. It'll probably still be called the Business for Superheroes Show. But at some point, it's going to change. Yes. Are we going to run two podcasts concurrently for a little bit and persuade people to change over? No, because this one is going to become the other one. So okay. I don't lose all of my stats. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So people who are subscribed to this will be subscribed to that. Yes, if they want to be. I may be lying. How does this work? <laughs> if I am, feel free to add a voice note on the end explaining why I'm a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, my book is having some final illustrations done. I'm getting the... I'm, well, I've got the proof copy. I'm going through it. Um, you can pre-order it now. Please pre-order it. I'm really, really proud of it. Um, if you don't enjoy it, if you don't feel that it's really valuable, I will, you know, give you your money back and you can keep the book. Um, but go, go and pre-order it. If you pre-order it at moxiebooks.co.uk forward slash pre-order the book, you get a £5 discount. Nice. So pre-ordering it. Um, when I launch it officially, it'll be full price. So, you know, um, make the most of it. Save a fibre. And there's also all sorts of goodies. Pre um, Pre-orders. What? resources and all sorts of goodies that you can available to get you started before the book arrives and the book itself will be arriving and launched properly in the first couple of weeks of october cool yeah um if you've listened to every episode email me with your postal address and i will send you a special silly superfan gift that's going to stay the same because i've got loads of them 
Um, and if you like this podcast, please go and subscribe via iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Um, and please leave us a review. <laughs> Five stars. Um, and share it. If you know somebody who will like it, send them a link. Um, moxiebooks.co.uk forward slash podcast. Nice. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening. As always, I really hope you stick around. Uh, it's going to be exciting and fun. And yeah, we'll be back same time next week. Bye. Bye. Like what you've just heard? Tell your colleagues. Tell your friends. Send them to www.businessforsuperheroes.com slash podcast.